All right, in this demo, I'm gonna show you how to use the AI prompter, which is part of Shorts AI. Uh, here are our campaigns listed here. You can see they're listed here with our options to change them. We're gonna create a new one by clicking on the plus. Type in our campaign name. Here's our title, why short videos are important for businesses. Then you click on create campaign. Then we're gonna type in our idea that the AI will then use to generate our script. And there is our idea. Short videos are important to businesses because they are trending right now and because people are buying because of shorts. And then we click on generate AI script. And now we have our script. And here's what it says. Shorts are an effective way to engage with customers, build brand awareness and promote products and services. Short videos are also more likely to be shared on social media and they are more likely to be seen by potential customers. Additionally, short videos can be used to explain complex topics in an easily digestible way. And then we're gonna save that. Campaign script updated successfully. And then we hop back out, come back to our campaigns. And now you see we have our why short videos are important for businesses. And at this point, we will record our video. So what it's doing now is loading my camera and as you can see on the screen is the script that we just wrote. So then to record that, I click on record. Now it's recording it. And then I start the script. I can adjust the speed of it and I can read it as it's coming through. Short videos are also more likely to be shared on social media and they are more likely to be seen by potential customers. Additionally, short videos can be used to explain complex topics in an easily digestible way. Now we're done. Now one of the cool things is it will pause when I pause. So what I just did there was I was paused for a few seconds. Edits that out. So. So when I pause, it removes those pauses. So I'm going to pause again here. So I was paused there for two or three seconds. So then when we come into the editor, it will remove those pauses. So we click on finish. So now what it's doing is it's detecting silence from the video. We can adjust the minimum time we want our silence to be as we scroll through here. The red is the silences it pulled out. Here's that silence there. Here's another silence, and here's the long silence towards the end. I can apply the changes, and it'll remove it and give us that punchy quality video that people expect with shorts. And then we click on Next. You removed your unwanted. Do you want to continue to export your video? Yes. Continue. Digestible way. Now we're done. And one of the cool things is it will pause when I pause. So what I just did there was I was paused for a few seconds it stopped the recording and edits that out. So when I pause, it removes those pauses. So I'm gonna pause again here. So I was paused there for two or three seconds. So then when we come into the editor, it will remove those pauses. And that's how it works. So we wanna publish, save it, and campaign video uploaded successfully. And then we can publish, which then we can connect it to our Facebook, YouTube, or to another that's how simple it is. Now, sharing it to YouTube, click on YouTube. Video successfully added to YouTube. And then if we return back, and there we are back at our campaigns. Now, this can be completely done on the website as well, using your webcam. Here I am on the website for Shorts AI. The app is called AI Prompter. And click in here to log in with the credentials that you receive after you make your purchase. Once you've logged in, you'll see here's the video that we just created on my phone. I come in here and preview it. It's recording it, and then I start the script. I can adjust. We can also publish it from here, seeing the same options we saw before. Copy it and use it directly as a link. Or we can actually record one right here. And it will turn on my webcam to record it from here. I can edit the script. This is the script that we used. I can create a brand new one by simply clicking on create new campaign as we did on the phone. So whether you have an Android phone, an iOS phone, or want to simply use it from any computer, Windows or Mac, you're able to use Shorts AI to grow your online business using power of short video.
Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn camera and microphone access on your Windows device and how to turn it on from the Chrome browser. So first go to the settings from your device and uh, search here camera settings. You'll see that the camera privacy settings just click on it. And from here, you can allow apps to access your camera. You just need to turn it on. Now you can see that the, these are the Microsoft Store apps that can access your camera. Now we scroll down here. You can allow desktop apps to access your camera. So you just need to turn this on. So this is how you can allow apps to access your camera. Now let's go to the search bar again and search here the microphone privacy settings. Just click on it and uh, you can see that you can allow apps to access your microphone from here you just need to turn it on just like the camera settings and you can see that the microsoft store apps that can access your microphone just scroll down and you can allow desktop apps to access your microphone from here just turn it on and here are the apps so this is how you can allow apps to access your camera and microphone from the settings now let's see how to manage camera and microphone access from your Mac device. Open up your settings by clicking on the Apple icon on the top left of your screen and selecting System Settings. In your Settings, navigate to the Privacy and Security section. Under Microphone, you should see a list of installed applications that have requested access to your microphone. Toggle the option on or off to allow or refuse access to your microphone. The same applies to your camera. In the camera section of your security settings, you should go over which applications have access to your camera while the app is running. In case these settings look a bit different on your Mac, then make sure that you're running the latest software update. In some cases, content or privacy restrictions on your Apple ID account can prevent you from using applications properly. To disable restrictions, navigate to the screen time section in your system settings. Under content and privacy, make sure to completely disable any restrictions on your account. You may have to enter your Apple ID password to apply these changes. Now I'm going to show you how to manage your camera and microphone access from your Chrome browser on Windows. So open your Chrome browser and from the three dot go to the settings and in the search bar you need to search camera so here's the camera section just click on it and you can turn on camera access from here also you can select external camera option from the drop down menu here and you will see the not allowed list to use your camera and you will see the allowed website list that have access to your camera so this is how you can manage your camera access from the chrome browser and now i'm going to show you how to manage your microphone access so all you need to do is just search here the microphone and you can see that here's the microphone section just click on it and from here you can select your microphone option you can use the default or you can use external microphone also you can enable this from here then you will see the not allowed list website that cannot use your microphone and you will also see the allowed list here so this is how you can manage your camera and microphone access from your chrome browser now let's see how to manage your camera and microphone access from your firefox browser open your browser and from the three dot menu go to the settings and from the settings you just need to search here camera and you will find the camera settings here just click on it from here you can see the websites that have request to access your camera also you can specify which websites are allowed to access your camera and you can also block new request asking to access your camera then you just need to click on save changes for the microphone settings you just need to search here the microphone 
and go to the settings and this is the same as the camera settings you will see the websites that have requested to access your microphone also you can specify which websites are allowed to access your microphone you can also block new request asking to access your microphone this is how you can manage your camera and microphone settings from your firefox browser